Hey cycling friends, James with Team Finish Strong. I'm down here at the battlefield again, this time on the loop road, enjoying an early preview of spring here in South Carolina. It's a beautiful day and it's absolutely refreshing out. Absolutely refreshing. Today's topic is a rather interesting one. On the subject of altars, when you think about them, your mind probably goes immediately back to Old Testament passages. We're thinking of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and the many altars that they erected. Or perhaps maybe you first thought of the tabernacle. Well, friends, the reason why I bring up the subject of altars today is because there was a time in my life when I was in a severe trial, one which I felt there was no means of deliverance from. And it was in that situation that I was going through the Psalms and I came across Psalm 50. And let me tell you, the words of this particular Psalm jumped out at me as if God was sharing it with me right from his heart, straight from his heart to mine. And it says this, it says, sacrifice thank offerings to the Lord. Fulfill your vows to the Most High and call on me in the day of trouble. I will deliver you and you will honor me. And let me tell you, friends, gosh, those words, those words just jumped out at me and spoke directly to my situation. And what did I think God was telling me through this? He was telling me to thank him for all the ways that God has protected me and provided for me and delivered me in the past, and that through that thanksgiving, I can trust that God is going to deliver me through this situation as well. You see, trials are a faith-building endeavor for us, friends. It's never meant to discourage us or to cause us to crash and burn or to shipwreck our faith. No, God wants us to be encouraged and strengthened. He wants us to reach new levels in our faith. And so he'll test that faith through some of these trials and tribulations. We just have to stand firm in our faith, trust God that he's got this. And if we have to, remember all the ways that he's been there for us in the past. We just need to continue to serve God and keep moving forward. Don't let the situation shake us. And that's my message to you, friends, today. If you're in the midst of a situation, don't let it shake you. Don't let it rattle your faith. Don't let it shipwreck you, friends. It's never meant to do that. God's purpose in it is to strengthen you, to make you a rock like Jesus did with Peter. You know, Peter one time would run away from trouble, would deny Jesus. But you know, he ended up becoming that rock that Jesus spoke into his life. And he was the foundation of the New Testament church. You can see the transformation in Peter's life. And friends, we can have that transformation too. We can have that level of faith and trust in God if we just put it to the test and see what God does. Well, friends, spring is just around the corner. It's such a beautiful day out today. I am so blessed that I got to see those two beautiful woodpeckers on the trail today. I knew there was a reason why God wanted me to take the road today instead of the trail. Well, friends, have a wonderful Saturday wherever you are in the world. Take care. God bless. And as always, finish strong.